I want to get away, but I'm too tired to run. I'm going to find a place where there are no rules. And the world is wild. I have the tools to make things happen. And the reaction will explode. Lucky for you, children, Mrs. Jules has asked me to lead this year's exciting camping trip adventure. I've been on many a daring safari, and let me tell you, when you're in the wild, anything can happen. Hey! Why didn't someone tell me the campground was on the sixth floor? I looked all over for it downstairs. Myron, the fifth floor's for pottery class. Oh, so that's why I'm so dizzy. Can someone pass me another bag of marshmallows? These ones won't stay on my stick. Oh, Todd. Don't you want to sit closer to me while we tell scary ghost stories around the campfire? Um, no thanks, Mauricia. But who'll protect me if I get scared? I feel so vulnerable. You? The toughest girl in school? All you ever want to do is punch me. You're just too rough. No, I'm not. I... I must not hit Todd! Ow! You are too rough. Yeah, well... Mm -hmm. I wasn't always like this. Tell him, Dana. Ooh, ooh. It's true. See, a long time ago, before Todd joined our class. Oh, brother. Mauricia was a gentle girly girl. <laughs> Why aren't you the prettiest peach of a porcupine, Fluffy? One day, Mrs. Jules was sick, and we got the meanest substitute ever. My name is Mrs. Gorf, and if any of you are bad, I'll wiggle my ears, stick out my tongue, and turn you into an apple. <laughs> that wasn't very nice. Good. Poor Eric! Right, Eric? Gorf? Mrs. Gorf? It says here in the rule book, turning students into apples is not allowed. Gorf? And the next thing I knew, I was an apple too. Ooh. A fascinating tale. Reminds me of the time I was hunting pomegranates on the subcontinent with my trusty steed, Thunderbolt! The pomeg... <clears throat> Excuse me, I must gather some more kindling from the forest interior. <laughs> anyway, Mrs. Gorf would not stop. Now, back then, Myron was also a different person. Heroic, fearless, self-sacrificing. Mrs. Gorf, as sometime class president, I demand you cease and desist all Apple-related damages. Mrs. Gorf actually seemed surprised, even impressed. Now, oh, at last, a student noble enough to risk his own safety in order to protect his friends. What? Whoa! Who said anything about risking my safety? 
I shall not turn you into an apple. Oh, goody. Instead, she turned him into a potato. <laughs> Fluffykins, how are we gonna save them apples? Oh, hey, Mrs. Gorf. Everything okay? Lewis had heard Mrs. Gorf was a really mean teacher. Then he saw the apples. Whoa, the students must love you. Look at all the apples they gave you. And a potato, too. Bonus. Students love me. <laughs> And so Mauricia skipped away with all of her Apple classmates. Hold on a second. Mauricia actually skipped? Ah! I once skipped across a Nepalese plateau wearing nothing but yak butter! Now that's a tale to tell! But now I must rewind the forest ambience. Yes, Mauricia skipped. She felt it was much more ladylike. It just wasn't very fast. So, everybody, as part of our Halloween dress rehearsal, it's time for... Bobbing for a pulse! Okay, children. Today we'll finger paint with applesauce. Made from those apples right over there. Get up! <laughs> Watch up! Applesauce! And that's how you play fruit ball. So, everyone bring their fruit. I got an orange. I got a banana. <clears throat> hey! Is anyone using this apple? Don't worry, Fluffy, my sweet. Mrs. Gorf must have a reason for being so mean. Maybe being turned into a little old apple is just a part of growing up. Potato casserole. Let's see, 10 eggplants, six couple socks, and one potato. Where I put my potato? Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Is there an echo? Cool. <gasps> <gasps> oh, Fluffykins! You're a... You're a prickly pineapple! <laughs> That's when things changed for Mauricia. It was like something inside of her just... Nobody turns my porcupine into a porcupine apple. <laughs> but first, there's something I gotta do. Go, 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 huh? Swing, bada bada bada, swing, bada bada bada, swing! Come back here! You not first food to run from, Miss Mush. Where do you go? Ah! I no need stupid potato. I make crayon casserole instead. And that's why we never eat Miss Mush's rainbow colored casserole. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of the time I wrestled a wild crayon on the coast of Tangiers. Teal blue, one of the most ferocious colors alive. Maybe I'll go fix the stream. So Mauricia snatched up all the rest of us Apple students. Now. Where were we? Give me back my class! 
sure. You want him? You got him! Give up! Make them stop! Only if you promise to turn them all back into students. Okay, okay, I promise. So Mrs. Gorf turned all of us apples Gorf? back into students. Gorf? Fluffy! Oh, Fluffy. Ouch! You've changed. Well, that makes two of us. At this point, Mauricia could have turned back, too. Back into the polite and proper girl she'd been before. <laughs> no! I've turned myself into an apple! That was the end of Mrs. Gordon. Ooh. And Mauricia's been a tough girl ever since. Now will you sit with me? Sure, if I actually believed that story. What? Do you really want to take that chance, Todd? After all, who will protect you from Mrs. Gorf? Ah, uh, that's not really Mrs. Gorf, is it? Ow! Oh, flying apples! Reminds me of the time I was stranded on an island full of giant flying mutated apples. And Mauricia. Ah. <laughs> Coming through. That's not a message, it's a love note. Who put this here? <laughs> Where's my message about secretly firing half the faculty? Oh well, better do that later. Carry on, students. And, uh, teachers. Well, half of you at least. Oh dear, if they're firing teachers, I better hide! Q-R-S-T, teachers. Mauricia? You've got to stop putting our names in hearts all over the school. Huh? But, Todd, whatever do you mean? <laughs> Face it, Mauricia. I'd rather do anything than be your boyfriend. Would you kiss a dead rat? Yes, anything. Would you live in Antarctica? Yes. Would you eat Miss Mush's mushroom surprise? Yes. What? what? Have you done that? Actually, eat Miss Mush's mushroom surprise? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah? Well, prove it. Eat it. Okay, I will. Fine. Right now. Let's go. Yay! Yeah! Yeah! Wait for me. I want to see this too. Ah, Sammy, you beat Miss Mush again. How do you do it? You no dead rat! You dead card shark! <laughs> Miss Mush, Todd wants to eat a bowl of your mushroom surprise. What? But no one eat that for years! Except Sammy, but he did. This wasn't such a good idea. Really? So you'll be my boyfriend? Miss Mush, bring on the surprise! <gasps> Don't do it! Hmm? 
You know, it's not that bad. My little superstar. I feel great, Mrs. Jules. I guess Todd was telling the truth, Mauricia. He'd rather eat mushroom surprise than be your boyfriend. Oh, that's how you do CPR. Yes, Lewis, this may be my crowning achievement here at Wayside. You mean the big hole? Or all the teachers you had to fire to pay for it? <sighs> hmm, that boy may be hurt. Good thing I know CPR. CPR? I don't need CPR. I'm an L-O-V-E. What an exciting morning. But before I go back to hiding in the cabinet, I'd like everyone to hand in their homework on cheese and macaroni. I did all my work on you and me and matrimony. How cute, Todd. You're going to marry an alien. I love the antenna. That's not an antenna. That's you and your big fluffy hair. Don't worry, Todd. One day you'll meet your alien from the stars. Now, class, if the principal comes looking for someone to fire, please tell him I'm not here. Mauricia. Yes, Todd? Helmet. Anything for you, Todd. Ribbon. <laughs> Do you want a lock of my hair to go with it? <gasps> Call me! Yes, good morning. Mrs. Jules, I made you something. Oh, how sweet. You've turned Mauricia's head into a flower. That's very creative. Dana? What's with Todd? It's like he's fallen madly in love with Mrs. Jules instead of me. And after all I gave him, my helmet, my ribbon, my heart. Oh, Mrs. Jules, why don't we go somewhere together sometime? You know, like on a picnic or to a movie. Maybe even a romantic gondola boat ride. Dying. Where would you ever find a gondola boat? Oh, solo mio, my gondola and me. Oh, please watch your stay. Oh, Lois, why didn't I think of digging that hole and turning the 14th floor into a gondola canal years ago? Um, because it's too expensive and a little insane? Nonsense. Now that we've fired half the faculty, we have all the money we need. Oh, Solata, I'm a Mr. Kitsua. Uh, but, Mrs. Jules, there is a gondola canal here at Wayside. I can show you. We can take a ride together, please. Hey, aren't you gonna punch him? No, I... I can't. He's hurt me too much for me to hurt him today. Aw, come on. You can still hurt him. Besides, I'm sure Todd still cares for you more than he cares for Mrs. Jewels. I don't think so. I mean, you saw it. He'd rather eat Mushroom Surprise than be my boyfriend. Hey, maybe that's it. Maybe he's just sick from eating the Mushroom Surprise. You mean, like, food poisoning? No, more like love poisoning. <laughs> Checkmate! Oh, how you do that, Sammy? Miss Mush, you've got to help us. We think Todd had a bad reaction to your mushroom surprise. Dead? Much worse. He's hopelessly in love with our teacher, Mrs. Jules! Ah, oh, not again! <laughs> Science teacher eat mushroom surprise once. He fall mad in love too. With cactus. Ooh. Wow, how did he get cured? Cured? You're right, Miss Mush. There is no cure for love. There, there, you said. You eat 
I give you baloney uh -huh. freezy. It's like ice cream, but no cream or milk. Mostly just baloney. Thanks, Miss Mush, but I can't eat right now. I'm so upset, I feel nauseous. You in right place. Baloney freezy make many people throw up. Of course! That's what we have to do. Throw up? No, make Todd throw up, just like if he had food poisoning. You mean, if we get the mushroom surprise out of Todd, maybe he'll fall out of love with Mrs. Jules and in love with me? Either that, or he make big mess. Oh, Todd, there really is a gondola canal on the 14th floor. Shall we board? Well, Todd, I'm only doing this because I feel bad for not believing you before and because you've been so nice and helpful lately. Exactly, Mrs. Jules. Todd has been so helpful. You should reward him with a delicious ice cream-like treat. Todd, as your reward, you can eat that funny-looking dessert. Okay. <laughs> Mrs. Jules, I don't think I'm in love with you anymore. What? You in love with me? Todd, no falling in love with your teacher. Just for that, I'm sending you home on the kindergarten bus. But first... <laughs> I don't feel so well. Yes, Mr. K? Someone ruined my canal. That's it. Drain it and rehire those teachers. A wise choice, Mr. K. And get them to build me a miniature golf course. One other thing, Lewis. Make that man stop kissing that cactus. Ooh. Hello, Todd. Are you feeling better? I sure am, now that you made Mauricia take down all those hearts. Phew, I'm so glad that's finally over. than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a herd of cows. Able to leap 30 story schools in a single bound. It's, it's, it's Mr. Kitswater. Possessing remarkable intellect and disguised as humble principal of Wayside, Mr. Kitswater fights a never ending battle for education and etiquette. He has a big desk. And a microphone, too! And when he talks, everyone listens. Attention, students! Attention! 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 This is your principal speaking. Blah, 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 Thank you. He is so powerful and important, I want to be powerful and important, too! Just like him. That's why he's my hero. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Thank you for that incredible report on your personal hero, Myron. But I'm not done. I have a scrapbook full of Mr. K, photos, mementos, and even bootleg recordings of his PA announcements. I remixed them. Raise the roof, y'all! Let me hear you in the back row! Did you hear that? Morgan! My hero needs me! Stupid good luck! Ooh. Oh, hey there, Milo. It's Myron. Ooh. How do I look today? There's only one word for that. Ow! Foxy. You the man, Mr. K. Thanks, Mirror. It's Myron. Not you, Marvin. I'm talking to the mirror. Oh.
Thanks, Marsha. <sighs> now to get down to business. It's my ring. But you know that, Mr. Kid Spotter. <laughs> Looks like you need a new scrapbook. Actually, I need a new locker. I'm running out of room to store all my Mr. K fan memorabilia. I know Kid Swatter's your hero, Myron, but sometimes, don't you think he could appreciate you a little more? <gasps> Todd, how can you say that? Well, because of the fact that he doesn't even know your name? He doesn't? Oh, Joe, Morty, Molly, Morgan, Mooch, Melvin, Mario, Mickey, Mojo, Mickey Muggy Mo. Oh, those are just his pet names for me. According to my records, I've also heard him call you Mustard, Mop, Muffler, Marshmallow. At least he gets the M right. Myron, he has no idea who you are. If you don't believe me, let's ask him. Mr. <laughs> Kidswater, we got a question. Uh, just working. Let me get that, Mr. Kidswater. Thanks a lot, Munchie. It's Myron. Who? Mr. Kidswater, we're trying to prove a point. Can you just tell us what Myron's name is? Sure. It's... Mm. Think hard. He's your biggest fan. Mm. <gasps> mm. Mm. Come on, Mr. K. You know this. Okay, that's enough. He got the M right, and that's good enough for me. Wait, I know. It's Lawrence. L Lawrence? No! What's with that Marty kid? I've been such a fool. Such a, a, a Lawrence. Myron, we didn't mean to upset you. We just didn't want Mr. Kidswater to take advantage of you anymore. Yeah, maybe you should just give up on Kidswater and find a new hero. <laughs> like my favorite superstar, Annie Wheels! She's the only kid to ever complete a quadruple inside out reverse Mobius twist. There she goes. Her final attempt. Annie Wheeler has nailed it again. Every time I try, Oh, Annie, I am not worthy. Nah, I think I need someone a little more exciting. Well, if excitement's your game, try my hero, Melville Lewis Cousin Dewey, founder of the Dewey Decimal System, the single most effective form of organization in the world. Dana, I think your Dewey did him in. But wait till he sees my hero. Lieutenant Logic. He thinks everything through to its most logical conclusion. And then he saves the day. Uh, if that's the practical thing to do, of course. Why isn't he in color? Because he only sees in black and white. She can run, but she can't hide from the Logic Hammer. That doesn't make any sense. Who cares about logic anyway? I'm off to find a new hero. Okay, show me what you got. Excuse me? I said, show me what you got. Sounds a bit confused. Can you try it again? This time more heroic. Um, okay. But why? Didn't you read the sign-up sheet when you walked into the audition? I'm looking for a new hero. Someone powerful, important, and inspiring. I just came here to change a light bulb. Next! Here you go, Babootski. Nice, big hero sandwich. Ooh, 
That's not the kind of hero I was thinking of. But why not? Mmm. Say, this is good. What's in it anyway? It mostly wet sand with a little bit of mayonnaise. Mayonnaise? <laughs> Yuck! Next! Hmm. Put her down for a call back. We'll be in touch! <laughs> Hey, Fox. <gasps> My complexion. Hmm. Strange. Where's my coffee? Maybe I'll have a donut. Something is definitely missing around here. But what? Next. should inspire me and somehow make my life better every day. I'll never find anyone here like that. Help! Has anyone seen my hero? Mr. Kidswater? You're looking for who? My personal hero. I can't find him anywhere. What an amazing fella. Somehow made my life even better every day. And made great donuts. Wow! What's the name of this most incredible hero person? I believe it's Lawrence. Know him? No, can't say I do, but he sounds like hero material to me. Whatever, I'll just have to keep looking for him. Hero? Hero, where are you? Dana, we need to find this Lawrence kid. I can make him my hero too. Myron, don't you get it? You're, You're Lawrence. Lawrence. Remember, Mr. Kitswater called you that when you tried to think of your name. Hmm. Lawrence! You mean I'm actually Mr. K's hero? And my own hero, too? And your own biggest fan! Hero! Where are you? Hold on, Mr. Kitswater! I'll help! Where's the goose axe? <laughs> oh, there you are, Lawrence. So glad you could help. That's what a great hero does. Especially if that hero is also his own biggest fan. Whatever. Come on, Lester. Let's get some donuts. It's Lawrence. If you say so, Lorraine. Back to our lesson. So, class, always remember we can calculate the circumference of the Earth by using pi r squared. Come on. Come on. Okay, class, time for pizza! Yay! Well, it's tough being first all the time. But somebody's got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> what took you guys so long? What's the rush, Mauricia? I'm not in a rush. I just like to be first. Line up for sports gear. <laughs> Yay! Yay! I'm first for soccer. Thanks. <laughs> I'm first for baseball. Thanks. Awesome. I'm first for... <laughs> Whatever. Whoa! Better get extra gear. I'm first for extra gear! Mauricia, what do you need all that stuff for? You don't even like some of these sports. So? Even if I don't like them, I still want to be first in line to play them. Hey! I'm first! <laughs> Whoa, I think I drank it all. Uh-oh. Coming through! I'm first! Um, 
Mauricia, this is the boys' bathroom. You can't go in there. That's okay. I didn't have to go. I just wanted to be first. Oh, yeah? Uh, hey, wait your turn. <laughs> my favorite part of the day, just me and my donut. Ah. What? Hey, Mr. K, did you check out those new wheels I put on your podium yet? Wheels? Mauricia, this is ridiculous. Who cares if you're first in line for the boys' bathroom? Ha! Spoken like a true second placer. You just don't understand. Oh, I'll beat you all to class! Oh. Oh. Stupid wheels. Hate him even more than Goose Axe. Ah! Mr. K, are you all right? You're banned, all of you. The students? No, these round things. Mr. Kipswater, no! You're banned, you too. And you're banned too. Get lost. Whoa, Mr. K, are you banning wheels from Wayside? No, Lewis, I'm going even further. I'm banning anything that's round. I mean, round. All done. Are you sure about this, Lewis? Mr. K's new rule, can't have anything round. Now everything is so fair and square. Lunch time! Yeah! <sighs> hey, shouldn't we wait for Mauricia? Don't worry, Todd. She's fast. She'll catch up. Besides, she never waits for us. Huh. I guess you're right. <gasps> Hold on, guys! I'm coming! Guys? Ah! Nothing like eating three square meals a day. <laughs> Mauricia! Where have you been? Square. Despair. Going nowhere. <sighs> Come on, Mauricia. Time for class. Be right there. Um, you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm coming. Just got to work up some momentum here. <laughs> Ugh. Maybe you should go on ahead. I'll catch up. I always do. Yay! I got it! Hooray! Hmm, this stuff doesn't work too well, but at least we get to play with it. Sorry, Mauricia. All up. Turn the square, Mr. 
Mr. K? I'm trying. Perfect. Carry on, Lewis. Mauricia, need some company? Thanks, Todd. I always knew you were slow. Oh, I mean, nice. Thanks. And I'm not that slow. Yes, you are. Just look at you. Mauricia, who cares who's slower, fast, or first, or last? I do! I do! I do! Now just watch as I beat you to the top! Time for my daily hula hooping. Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, hmm. Even my yo-yo is better. Ah. No! I love squares. <sighs> At least I can still enjoy my favorite part of the day, donut time. Donut? I'm first! I'm first! Or am I last again? Oh, look who just beat me up the stairs! You don't have to do that, Todd. Did I give you too much of a head start? No, it's not that. But you're first. Be happy. But I can't. Sitting here all by myself, it seems whether you're first or last isn't as important as being with your friends. Happy donut time ruined? <laughs> no! I've got to round things up around here. Round it up. 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 Not you. Gotta admit, it's kind of nice to actually spend time with your friends instead of always trying to beat them. Especially your special friends. No need to make that fist square. Round it up. And those wheels, too! It's great to have my wheels back! Race it to the schoolyard! Wait a minute. Hey! You guys coming or what? Mauricia, you waited for us? Why wouldn't I? Because now you won't be first. Ah! No sense rushing everywhere if you just end up getting there alone. I mean, duh. Why don't we all be first together? Woohoo! Oh, isn't that sweet? Totally. Those kids are awesome. Who? I don't know what you're blathering about, Lewis. All I care about is my sweet donut. Round it up. Todd, are you ready for the aquarium field trip? The aquarium? Really? Sounds fun. But Mrs. Jules, I don't have any swimming gear, and I'm not sure why I'd need it at an aquarium anyway. Don't worry, Todd. We have extra diving suits. All you really need is your permission slip. What permission slip? The ones I distributed yesterday after I sent you home on the kindergarten bus. Don't tell me you don't have yours. No, I don't. Can I run home and get one signed before the bus leaves for the aquarium? Bus? <laughs> on a wayside field trip, students don't go to the aquarium. The aquarium comes to us. OK, Lewis. Send in the fish. You got it, Mrs. J. Hmm, let's see. Dinosaurs, solar system, ah, aquarium! Whoa, we're 
we're going to be inside an aquarium? No, Todd. We are going to be inside an aquarium. You are going to be inside a dinghy where all the kids go who don't have a permission slip. Ready for the most amazing day ever, class. Yay! Todd, you look so lonely all alone in that lonely raft. Wouldn't it be nice to have some company? Um, I'll be okay. Avert your eyes, Todd. No incredible undersea adventure for you. You don't have a permission slip, remember? Oh, no! I don't have a permission slip either, Mrs. Jules. Yes, you do, Maricia. I just saw it in your hand. What happened? Um, I accidentally ate it. Oh, dear. Well, you shouldn't go in the water right after eating. I'm afraid you'll have to spend the day in the dinghy with Todd. Yes! No! Oh, Todd. What will we ever do? Just the two of us trapped together in the middle of nowhere. We're not exactly in the middle of nowhere. We're in the middle of Mrs. Jewel's class, in a lifeboat. This isn't a lifeboat, it's a love boat. Why don't we hold hands no. and drop anchor over by that romantic private island? First of all, that's not an island. It's a filing cabinet. And secondly, holding hands is death. Shh, don't speak, Mon Capitan. The whales are serenading us. Oh, a field trip day is an okid day, and an okid day is a field trip day. A field trip day is an okid day, and that is a okay. And those special fish I ordered should keep the 30th floor busy while I take my own field trip. Hmm. This aquarium thing is boring. How can you say that? We're exploring a rich ecosystem. Weren't you impressed by the seaweed growing on the rubber boot rack? Meh. All right, I was going to save the good stuff for later, but let's explore the dangers of the deep. Hold on to your helmet, Myron. Ooh, it says here that these pink periwinkle clams can be open their mouths once every 103 years. Isn't that exciting? Boring. This is a gray fish. Did you know there are only 256 different kinds of gray fish? Wouldn't it be fun to count them all? Boring. Wow, a sea sponge. These wild fellas never, ever move. Let's watch. Boring. Myron, you're upsetting the ecosystem. I want to see a shark. Todd, can we hold hands now, huh? No. Oh. Then can you do me a favor and hand me that paddle? That's not a paddle. That's your hand. Oh, is it? <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> um, Todd, can you do me a favor and hand me that rope instead? That's not a rope, that's your hand. Oh, is it? Silly me. <laughs> um, Todd, can you do me a favor and hand me my hand? That's not your hand, it's your hand. Who made you go? White dove, must be love, stamp it, lock it, no erases. Oh, Todd, you sent me a message in a bottle? How romantic. S-O-S. What's that, Todd? Some kind of secret love code? Actually, it's an international distress signal used by sailors. Oh, I get it. S-O-S, -S, as in 
Sweet on schoolmate. You really are a true romantic, Todd. Look, Myron. It's called a sea sludge, and it lives in gravel at the bottom of the ocean, where it eats gravel. That's so neat. Ugh. When are we going to see something really cool? Hey, how about glow guppies? They shouldn't be in here. Hmm, I remember reading something about those fish. Oh, I remember. They're boring. No, that's not it. Sorry, guy. If you're looking to bore me, you're a little late. Yes! That's it. Now I remember. Run! Ah! Oh, no. What do we do? We're being attacked by glow guppies. This wasn't in the job description. Well, Mrs. Bools. That's Jules. You certainly have the credentials, Mrs. Drools. Jules. But, Mrs. Mules, do you know how to handle an attack of glow guppies? Hmm, I guess it was in the job description. Now, what was that drill? Oh, right, same as the swamp creature drill. Run away! Oh, I mean, swim away! <laughs> this never would have happened if we just swam with the sharks. Look, Mauricia, we need to help. What? They look like they're having the time of their lives. I know I am. Want to hold hands yet? No. Mrs. Jules, can we help? You don't have a permission slip, Todd. That means you don't have permission to help us. Somebody else, help us! A permission slip. Don't worry, Mrs. Jules. Help is on the way. Uh, Mauricia, uh, can you help me a second? I need to reach that permission slip. You can have my permission slip if you want. Uh, no thanks. I just need to lean out and grab that slip. So, could you... Would you... Hold my hand. <gasps> Hold your hand? Why didn't you say so? I would... Love to. Oh, time to flip. Hey, where'd the sun go? Nice glow guppies. <laughs> Got it. Oh, Todd, how sweet. Even after all that, we're still holding hands. Oh, I just want this moment to last forever, Todd. It feels like I'm giving you goosebumps on your hand. Mauricia? Ah! Well, Todd, thank you for saving the class, and I'm glad you finally found your permission slip. <gasps> it's not signed. I can't accept this. You didn't have permission to save us, and for that, I'm sending you home early on the kindergarten bus. But technically, I didn't save the class. I was just trying to get away from Mauricia. Ready when you are, Mon Capitan. Sorry, Todd, but you'll just have to accept that you're the biggest hero in the history of Wayside and take your punishment for it like the troublemaker you are. Ow! <laughs> Swamp creature drill. And I remember this one. Run! Field trip day, field trip day. Oh, how I hate field trip day. Ouch! 